Patricia! Patricia! <laughs> if you two want to sit here and argue over stupid bullcrap until Patty dies so you can argue for all eternity, be my guest. Don't let me stop you from being miserable. But I ain't sticking around for another gosh darn minute of it. Mic drop. I'm gonna wait outside in case you two finish your little spat for the next darn century. I'd prefer to keep my one chance of getting all of us out of this cheap dollhouse of a purgatory. But you know, y'all's pride and vendettas are obviously more important. And so, true to her word, Ida stood outside the parlor door. Of course I'm gonna listen in. Ida tried to give them space. She really did. However, she quickly got bored of waiting. Cute. She decided to eavesdrop on the starlets, going and pressing her ear to the door to listen in once the initial yelling match died down. Are you done? Are you, are you actually gonna let me talk now? Fine, make your case then, if it'll get you to leave any faster. Alright. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I should have told you what I thought was going. I should have told you what I thought was going on. I should have called you back. I should have kept my mouth shut. I... I just want to know one thing. Why? Why didn't you think what we had? Because I had my heart broken already, thinking something was more than it was. When I was young, I had my first backstage relationship with a co-star. We hit it off well, but after Finland wrapped and parted ways, it was like it never happened. She acted like she didn't even know me in passing, probably because she had started get, getting more serious roles where I was still a back, background extra. I ended up just not taking relationships seriously anymore. I thought it was just how things worked here. But that doesn't make what I did any less awful, Joanna. I, I really enjoyed working on that film with you. I genuinely did. And if it just been a less of a stubborn biscuit, then maybe things could have been gone, gone differently. Patricia, I'm... I'm sorry too. Aw, oh, this conversation got too quiet to make out. Ida decided to go back to standing guard so she didn't end up getting caught eavesdropping. Cute. Well, did you two make up? <sighs> We're on better terms now. And she gave me this key she found. That's all. Aw, oh, come on, Patty. You're really just gonna leave me in the dark. Yes, because it's none of your business to begin with. Well, I did help her get to open up in the first place. So I think at least I deserve to know if my efforts were wasted. By screaming at us. I mean, it worked, didn't it? Your efforts weren't in vain. I apologized and she moved on. That's all. Happy. All right, all right, I won't pry, but, uh, Patty. Yes? You got some lipstick on your cheek. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Let's just see if we can find what this key opens. Cool. Um, maybe I should look at the key. Hmm. Ah. Yes, lockbox key. Yeah. A tiny lock that calls for a tiny key. Seems about the right size. Patricia puts the key in the box's lock and opens it. It's, it's another key. Aw oh, man, I was hoping it'd be a fat stack of cash. What would you even spend it on? One of them real fancy headstones with the little statues and angel wings on them. And with the leftovers, a bunch of expenses, jewelry, and stuff to bury with me. Like I was a pharaoh or something. Mm-hmm. Real shame that it's just a key that opens a room that might lead us to getting out of here. What awful luck. Alright. Alright, which key did we get? The library. We can go to the library now. If I can remember where the library is. 
Hey, it fits. Lucky us. Finally, the library. Ada, why are you just standing there by the door? Er, I guess this is a no ghost allowed area or something? Because I can't seem to get through the threshold. That's weird. Let me take a look. Hmm, interesting. There's a sigil on the door frame. A what's it on the door frame? A symbol of some kind infused with magical properties to serve a purpose. It's pretty basic, but I guess it's here to keep spirits out of the library. Oh, come on! I finally managed to get free reign of the place, and now I'm getting locked out by stupid little doodles. Just wait here while I take a look around, alright? Won't take me but a minute. Fine. Guess I'll be waiting then. Hello, phone. Always best to choose carefully when picking out a library book. After all, you only get to check out so many at a time. And after the fifth overdue book, you'd best hope the books you picked are worth never being able to go to that library ever again. <laughs> hmm. Yet another tabloid. Who puts these everywhere anyway? It's a typewriter with a sheet sticking out. And it has a riddle typed up on it. He who... He who makes me doesn't want me. He who buys me doesn't need me. He who uses me doesn't care. Hmm. I like riddles, but I'm usually very bad at the... Hello. Oh, you. Hmm? Huh? What brings you here? You don't seem the bookworm type. Looking for a way out still. Not sure what you think you'll find in here, other than weird supernatural books, but don't let me stop you. How did you get in here? Any idea what's up with the books on the shelves? Hmm, can't say I do. It's probably just the director. Couldn't be bothered to push them back in. Or clear old papers out of the typewriters. I love the woman, but really, she can be such a mess. Mm-hmm, I'll be seeing you, Daisy. How did you get in here? How did you get in here? How did you get in here? Oh, there's more riddles. Twelve pale faces, none of which smile. Fifty-four red hearts, but none... But not one of them beats. Fifty-four diamonds, yet none of them glitter. Playing cards, right? Playing cards. Playing cards, right? Three books were sticking out of place. The Tale of the Gambler and the Monk, Card Tricks for Children, and a copy of Dracula. Hmm. 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 Probably not Dracula. So, card tricks. Hmm. The book sits for a moment before it slides back into place at the edge of the shelf. Okay then, that's not weird at all. Alright, I get it. I get it. I think I get it. Yeah, it's a typewriter with a sheet of... there. Yeah, with a sheet sticking out that has a riddle typed on it. Poor people have it, rich people need it. If you eat it, you will die. Hmm. Oh, nothing. I've heard that riddle before. An Encyclopedia of Poisonous Flowers, a book on the construction of a coffin, and Shakespeare in Much Do About Nothing. Ha ha! Hmm. Oh, the, the Memoir of a Mortician, a copy of Frankenstein, and an atlas. Um, I have no idea. Something clicked into place. Yay! Hmm, now this one. Out of my way, chair. Hmm. Pretty sure it's nothing. Alright. Yeah, I just had to do it in, uh, in order. What? What? Now what? Oh, 
What are you reading? Some cheap erratic I found tucked away. I didn't think the director would keep something like this around. It's really surprise. It's surprisingly enthralling. If you'd like to read it with me, I'll pass. Your loss. It really gets good around chapter six. Did I not do that one? Oh, okay. Um, let's see. All right. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It's cards, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had to do it in order. What? Did something hit me? Oh, no, just a big old book laying on the ground. A book fell off the shelf. Communicating with the recently deceased, volume one. It has a page bookmarked. Instructions on how to turn a normal radio into a ghost box. The number 176. Ah. The radio's tuned to static. Turn the radio. Two, one, seven, six. Some music from the station started playing. Mm. Oh. Hello. It's a camera concentrated on a small peephole that leads into the next room. Guess that explains how she gets a footage. Ooh. <laughs> Save right here. That, that's not upsetting. That's not distressing at all. Really? The door is jammed? Typical. Jeez, don't we get some bad luck. Anything you can do, Ida? Step aside, dollface. Let me take a crack at it. Ida phases her hand through the door and tries the handle. No dice. But I can phase through it just fine, so maybe... Maybe. Maybe you can sit this one out and I'll scout ahead, yeah? I'll come back if you, if I find anything useful. Seriously, do you expect me to just sit around in the dark and wait for you to come back or something? Of course not. You can go wait in the foyer or something. But can you even get very far without me? You're still haunting my earrings. So you still need to be near me. Hmm, you, you do make a good point, doll. Ah, I know. Just hand over your earrings then. Excuse me. <laughs> hand them over. If I'm holding the object I'm attached to, I can go pretty much wherever I want, right? Is that allowed? How should I know? It's just a hunch, really. But it's all we got going for us. Hmm. Fine. But I'm only giving you one earring. That way you can't go running off. Aw, oh, come on now, Patty. You really have so little faith in me. Where would I even go? I ain't a genius, some stuff, trying to skedaddle at the first chance I get. I don't got anywhere to be. Well, I'd still prefer the insurance you won't go and escape without me. You're pulling my leg. You don't trust me? Still? Come on, Ida, be responsible. Can I at least keep one in case you drop it or something? I'd rather not risk them both. Fine, fine, have it your way. I'll only take one. Patty takes out one of her earrings and hands it to Ida, who shoves it into the pocket of her coat. That probably shouldn't work. Promise you'll give it back. Cross my heart. I'll see you in a bit. See you when you get back. All right, let's see what I can find. Cute. She makes a little whooshing sound. Oh, jeez. Huh. Guess she uses the weird labyrinth basement -y area as extra storage. Hopefully she never needs any of this junk in a pinch. A creepy doll, I can't say. I'm surprised. I'm watching you, raggedy. No funny business. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Looks pretty dead for a still life painting. Alright, so I think I came from there. Feels like it's watching me. Hmm. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! Take it easy, I ain't gonna hurt ya. The name's Bainbridge. Detective Bainbridge. Here to investigate the numerous disappearances connected to this place. Uh, oh! 
Sorry about that. I just... You wouldn't happen to know the way out, would you? I'm kind of lost. Yeah, I can get you out of here. The way out's not too far from here. Real easy to get all turned around back here, though. Mind if I take ask you a few questions first? I, I guess not. Suzanne... Suzanne Francis. M my friends call me Susie, so... Susie? I guess you can, too. Can we just get going? How'd you get here? I was just trying to tune the radio, and then a door opened up and, uh, well, I didn't want to go in, but there was the noise at the door. I thought maybe the director knew I'd accidentally opened it and was coming to yell at me, but what opened the door? Wasn't... it wasn't human, so I panicked and ran in here. God, I'm such an idiot. How'd you die? Dehydration, probably. I didn't take anything the director offered because I was afraid she was going to, uh, poison me. I'm not very trustworthy of strangers, so I was trapped back here with no food or water and no way out. Please, can we just go now? Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get a move on. Just follow me, alright? Alright. Susie has now started haunting with you. I wonder what's in these boxes that make Miss V put them at the back of a darn labyrinth. Ada, I'm... I'm so sorry. Excuse me? The line went dead. Weird. wonder what she's sorry for. Oh dear. More of those weird film reels. Uh... Alright, time to co-catch up with... Oh no! Patty? Oh no! Top Hat Man! Patty! Ah! Right rope! Why is my camera freaking out? Don't freak out, camera. About time you showed up. I knew something was gonna happen with that chandelier. Are you alright? What happened while I was gone? I was attacked by that shambly mass of rotting carcass, and I took care of it. How long was I gone before it showed up? I don't know, ten minutes? I just remember soon after I made it to the foyer I heard that sound again. Hmm, almost like it knew you where you was going, and it knew we were splitting up. What are you implying? Just saying. Maybe we should be a little less forthcoming with information when we talk to our little friend on the phone. Hmm. Right. Anyway, who have you got there behind you? Oh, um, 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 I... Oh, that's Susie. I met her in the back rooms. She needs our help, too. Susie, hmm? You look familiar. Have we met before? Um, I don't believe so, Miss Dahl. I never actually made it to any of any picture shows, not even as an extra. Then how do you know my name? Well, I, um, I've just seen a lot of pictures you've been in. That's all. Oh, now I remember. I saw you outside the studio after you'd froze up during your audition. Oh, you remember that? How could I forget? After the casting director chewed you out like that, I couldn't help but give him a piece of my mind. Y you what? He deserved it after making you leave in tears like that, and I was already having a bad day. Honestly, what made him think you could just make a girl cry and get away with it like that? Some people, as, uh, Patty, hate to interrupt you reminiscing, but I think we got more pressing matters to attend to. Like that monster that's over there. Right, sorry. Ah, I'm the one who should be sorry. It's my fault for bringing it up. No, no, you're fine, darling. I just tend to get carried away. But anyway, where are we supposed to go now? Dunno, we've searched almost everywhere, haven't we? Seems like, except for that one room at the basement. What room? The one upstairs. The one upstairs with all the icky black stuff coming out of the bottom. You know anything about it? I, I think I saw the director go in there before I went to my room the night I got here. At least I think it was that room. Let me show you. Before I went to my room for the night, I saw her go in here, and I heard the door lock behind her. Darn it. Here I thought we were going to be able to avoid the room with the suspicious black ooze. You and me both. But unless Miss Director's actually hiding under a bed somewhere around here, we don't got much else we can do. Can we even get in here? I guess we have no choice. 
There's no turning back. Um. Alright. Here goes nothing. You know, why are you standing there? Looks like I gotta hang back again. Check the door frame. Seriously? More sigils? You're gonna be alright without me watching your back? I don't really have much of a choice. This is our only lead. Just wait here with Susie until I get back, okay? Just be careful, alright? First sign of trouble, you come straight back, okay? I will. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Mm. 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 Oh dear. Ah, oh, come on now. Why won't you get up? This is what I get for trying to make something from scraps. Why do I even bother? Give me the key, Josephine. What the? You're not supposed to be back here. I thought I locked the door. How did we open that door? Did I miss something? I had some help. Now, if you'd hand over that key of yours, I'd prefer to avoid getting my dress dirty. Blood is a nightmare to get out of silk. Well, aren't we impatient? And violent. Terribly sorry, Miss Dahl, but I can't let you go just yet. Not until filming's done. I can't have you walking off set early, can I? Listen here, you crazy ba- Oh no, look at the time, I really should get going. Farewell, Miss Dahl. I assure you, filming will be wrapping up soon enough. How'd she do that? <sighs> Things can never just be easy here, can they? There appears to be a key, lodged in a mass of foul-smelling ooze sitting on the altar. Pick up the key. No. All right. Ha-ha! Missed me with that sludge stuff. <laughs> Bye. Ada! Ada! Barely made it. Ada? Susie? Why are you two? Maybe they heard something dipped into the one of the rooms to hide. Otherwise, there's only one place left. I don't remember what that one place is. Can I still... You're looking in all the wrong places. You're lucky. You know that? I would planned for there to be a bear trap waiting for you, but I didn't have time to set it up. But don't worry. I made sure I had plenty of time to get the rest of these all put together just for you. Honestly, I should have killed you as soon as you let her out. As soon as you let her out of here. There. She's such a pain. I'm surprised you made it this far. I really thought I had you back there. What the heck did you do to them? The gumshoe and the nervous wreck, oh, they're fine. At least as fine as dead women can be. You'll find out yourself when you join them soon enough. Go to heck. Oh, the basement. The basement? The basement. The basement. Where is the basement? Oh, yeah, the basement. The thing that the game has been saying to not go to this entire game. Eep. Oh crap. I can't get out. Ugh. I can barely see a thing down here. I have matches. That's slightly better. Ugh. I recognize that sound effect. Don't you move. She's gonna move. Alright. A brittle looking key sits on the floor, looking like it was carefully placed there rather than carelessly dropped. The door opens, but the key breaks inside the lock. Ooh. 
least I don't need to use up matches trying to see anymore. This basement gets a lot deeper than I anticipated. Ooh. Just an empty closet. Nothing special. Probably a good place to hide. Can barely make, any, make out anything on the bookshelf. Don't want to waste matches trying to read all the spines set, and set the darn thing on fire. Or maybe I do. You've come a long way. Now you've come a long way. You've come a long way. No sense in turning back now. Want me to save your progress? Yes. Needs candlesticks. Hmm. Ooh. More film reels. Some of the labels have different handwriting. Oh dear. Hmm? Oh, neat. Patricia looked inside the camera and finds a key some husband lodged sideways just behind the lens. Eep! Uh, oh, crap. What? Ah! <laughs> fine. Fine. Uh, oh, now you want to go over there. Ugh. How come you don't get caught in some of these traps? Alright. Phew. Aha. Serves you right. Still dead. Still disgusting. Oh, take its arm. Snatch your arm for some reason. Patricia acquired the creature's arm. Gross. Alright. I got the arm. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's a carpet. I thought that was a, a thing. Again, with these fake flowers. The door unlocked. Oh boy. Well. A closet with a guillotine in it. Lovely. Looks like there's something in the basket. Patricia can see a small key sitting in the basket on the other side. Uh, use the arm. Lean over the head hole. Reach through the head hole. <laughs> the monster's arm is sliced clean in two by the guillotine. Patricia leans over and snatches the key from the head basket. Thank you. I don't think I need anything else from here. Ha ha! Okay, so I got the key. You can hear the faint clicking of typewriter and two different women's voices talking. One you recognize as the being from the voice from the phone. Hmm? Hmm? Is phone lady actually sus? <sighs> I know you're the one double-crossing piece of- You told her, didn't you? I effin' heard you! Say something! What the heck did you do? Ada? <gasps> Patty! Oh, ghost hug. Thank God you're alright. Uh, Ada, I'm fine, really. What happened while I was gone? I came out of that hallway and you and Susie were long gone. I wish I could tell you, but I can't remember. How did you kidnap a ghost? <sighs> I remember talking to Susie to try to get her to calm down. I heard a weird noise. Next thing I know, I'm trapped in here. My best guess is Miss Necro direct us and one of her goons to grab us. Guess we were being too helpful. That doesn't make sense. You're a ghost. Couldn't you just phase through a wall or get away or something? <clears throat> Ooh, shouldn't have drank that orange juice. And we ain't dealing with some run-of-the-mill broad. She brought us back so she can do whatever she darn well wants with us. Move us around, trap us in rooms, whatever she needs to. Good point. Why in here, though? Don't look at me. I didn't exactly get to ask. Oh, and by the way, where are we exactly? We're in the basement, just under the mansion. I've unlocked just about every do room down here except for one. That has to be her office. Guess we ought to get going, then. Can't leave the director waiting. 
Yay, Ida's back with me. Hmm. Okay. You holding up all right? Y yeah, just a little shaken up. I'm sorry, this is all my fault. Don't say that. There's no way you could have known what would have happened. Just hold on and we'll get out of here, alright? I'll try. No, oh, is something wrong? I just wanted to talk to you a bit. Since earlier, I couldn't exactly stop to get to know you. Are you alright if I ask you a few things? I, uh, I guess it'd be okay. What do you want to know? Why'd you come to Hollywood? I, I already told you, Miss Doll, in the foyer. I saw your movies and, and I thought maybe if I made it in the pictures, I'd maybe I'd get more confident, you know? Come now, that can't be the end of the story. I mean, what made you think being a star was for you? Did you do theater or something? I, uh, yeah. I did some short plays, nothing super fancy or, or prestigious. What got you into theater? M my parents, actually. They did vaudeville before I was born. Well, that explains it. I suppose they tried to get you involved as soon as they could. Yeah, basically since I could walk. When I was tiny, any time I would mess up the audience would find it funny. I really liked acting. It's easy to stop thinking about things that stress me out when I'm busy trying to be a whole different person, you know? I figured that stage acting and film acting couldn't be that different. But, uh, turns out I was wrong. Um, well, my name is Suzanne. Suzanne Francis. But my friends call me Susie. I'm, um, I'm sorry, I just... I don't know what to say. Oh. Well, what do you do for fun? Well, I'm... I read books sometimes. And, I guess, singing? Oh, and walking to go see a picture show. Even if there's nothing going on, I usually just hang around the cinema. Most people are so busy getting to the movie before it starts that people don't usually bother me. Uh, oh, you really want to know about that? Yes. Well, to keep it short, I, uh, died in a kind of backroom's basement place I found by accident. I was trapped and lost and I started to feel sick. My throat felt like it was full of cotton. At some point I felt so weak I stopped even trying to escape and just got comfortable in one of the dead ends and I just waited. What an awful way to go. I'm so sorry, darling. It's not your fault, Miss Doll. I, I shouldn't have gone back there in the first place. Aww. Oh, poor Susie. All right. Ah. All right. Does she just leave these burning all the time? That's a fire hazard. Let me take it. Let me take it with me. She stopped talking to you too, huh? All right. Uh, the door locked behind you, didn't it? Looks like, mind giving me a hand? No can do. Check the handle. Patty squints at the metal below the handle, seeing a sigil shallowly etched into the... scratched into the... Uh, bleh, into it above the keyhole. Oh, you've got to be kidding. I still have that lockpick, though, so can you pick it? Can't exactly pick something I can't get close to. Great. Hmm. Oh. There's a small button just behind the slightly cracked vase. Cool. Ooh, pretty. An empty teacup. Still in your bed. Looks like a pile of notes. Could be useful. Crumpled paper. Let's see. Mostly notes to herself and reminders, it seems. Change candelabras, fix the music box, replace the bear traps in the storage room. It wouldn't happen to actually say where the key is anywhere in there, would it? After all this woman's put us through, is it really a surprise anymore? She might have left us something just as good, though. Look here. Look there. It's got something written about those weird symbols all over the mansion. Redraw door sigils. Remember to use ruler this time. One offline can render it almost worthless. Hmm, well, shoot. Think some broken glass will scratch it off? Worth a shot. Ha 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 Mind if I look at those papers? Be my guest. Huh, this looks interesting. She's got some notes about those creatures of hers. What's it say? 
Apparently, they've been mutating. Oh, that's lovely. Becoming less human-like and harder to control. Their senses are getting real dull, too. Miss V's guess is that it's because the magical bullcrap holding them together is getting weak, and the corpses that were made from have completely tur they were made from completely turned to rot. According to this, when she runs out of pieces of corpses to work with, she tries patching them up with spare celluloid from films she had to cut out of her reels. Hmm. Gross. Anything useful in there? Nope. Guess we ought to keep snooping. Clean sheet of paper. Hey, this one's about me! Hey, it's me they're talking about! Really? Well, sorta. It's about how the ghosts here are... Apparently, I'm not exactly a ghost, per se. Like, I am dead, and am technically just a soul without a body. But I'm more undead than a normal spirit, see? I'm a lot better at retaining energy despite not having any sort of physical body, so I can say and stay in this semi-corporeal state. Easy as cake. And apparently some other stuff, but uh, looks like the ink got smudged. Oh, and here I was thinking we'd learned something we don't know already. And uh, apparently she's trying to figure out how to attach us to those freaky monsters of hers. She did it once by accident, but she can't seem to replicate it. Apparently it makes them more durable or something. That sounds horrifying. I think I've read enough. <laughs> Lock combination cheat sheet. Stuff we know already. Lovely. What? You already found all the combo locks here or something? How do you know there ain't more we gotta crack? Because all the ones this did are ones I've already dealt with. Really? It's just the same three locks with different combinations listed in different clock times. Fair enough. Page of riddles. Hey, riddles, those are always fun. Sure, right, especially when your life's on the line. Barrels of fun. Why, do you not like brain teasers or something? Can't say I'm a fan of anything that makes getting out of this hellhole any harder. But no, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I get you. Not everybody's got the brain for that sort of thing, unlike myself. Sure. Right. Anyway, we really should work on finding a way out of here. By reading more papers. Mansion map. Looks like a map of the mansion or something. This would have been handy a couple hours ago. Hmm. It looks like it has all the traps and puzzles marked on it. Probably so she doesn't end up falling down a hole in the floor she forgot about. Probably so. Hmm, that's odd. Hmm, what you see, it's probably nothing, but it looks like she's marked the screening room as having a puzzle in it. And it has parts in the dining room and room two. Hmm. Sweaters, trousers, scarves, and a box of spare candles. Guess she burns through them pretty quick if she needs a box of them this big. I'm gonna just ignore that pun. A bundle of thin candles. Where'd Susie go? Mm. Maybe she found a way out. I mean, she did kind of did that earlier. But she would have told us, right? I don't know. Doesn't feel right. Susie! Patty scratches the metal on the door with the sharp edge of a busted bottle. She manages to scribble through the sigil. All right, let's see if it worked. Ida phases her hand through the door, no problem, just like any other time before. Yay, we back in business. And done. Yeah. Much better. Oh yeah, this book. In the candlelight, one of the books is now much more noticeable out of place. A beat-up leather spine with no label on it. What do we have here? Patricia flips through the tattered journal. Many of the pages damaged beyond recognition from age and others vandalized and others vandalized or torn in part or completely. Only one page seems in vaguely readable condition. Oh boy. 1922. Ever since my sister dropped off her stupid brat, you know who's been especially restless. Hmm. It's getting harder to keep her at bay. She knows that child is just like her. And keeping Joe locked up is the only way I can hope to keep her from being influenced by her. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is the uncle. Last thing I want to do is hand my niece back to her sister when she's turned into a miniature version of her of our mother. 
Hmm, so I guess the grandmother is you know who? We're going to try and end this tonight. We can't just keep keep we we can't we can't just keep keeping her contained, hoping we can undo what she's done to herself. The only thing we can do now is finally put her to rest. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. Something glittering in the candlelight, a small key tucked just under the flower vase. Now what do we have here? What you find? It's a key, though I don't think we'll be opening the director's room with it. Well, it's gotta go to something, right? Oh yeah, wait, where's that little music box? Yeah. Time to see if this, if this thing works or not. No. The ballerina spinning at a weird angle from the spring being held down for so long. And there's an actual key in here. Nifty. <coughs> Patricia plucks the key out of the music box jewelry compartment. Hopefully this is the last key we'll need. Always breaks my heart seeing things like this go so neglected. What's the big deal? It's just a spring-loaded noisemaker. I mean, it's something someone probably cared a lot about at some point, and now it's just being left to rot. It outlived its owner, and now it's been left behind with no one left to care for it. I guess when you put it that way, yeah, it's pretty depressing. Let's just get a move on before we end up like whoever had this thing last. No, oh, I love music boxes. Knock, knock. What's the holdup? I don't know, something just doesn't feel right. Maybe we should set some sort of trap for her in case things go badly. A trap? I don't know. I didn't really think of what to do once I'd actually find her. So maybe we should make some sort of plan B or something in case she doesn't just give me, give me the key and let me go. I getcha, I getcha. Alright, I think I got an idea. Oh dear. Alright, I think we got it. You ready? I think. I go in, I confront her. And while I'm in there, you go and set up upstairs, right? Right. Once I'm all set up, I'll be waiting by the door to the basement. Once you're right go- You sure you're right going in alone? You look kind of spooked. We could change it. It's fine. I can handle it. All right. Just be careful, all right? You too. All right, we're doing this. We're gonna get this lady. Break yourselves, fool! Kicks down the door. And then, when you expect some grand turnaround where she gets the upper hand, she dies. Truly, your writing genius knows no bounds. I'm glad you agree. You. Oh, snap. Hmm. Uh, oh. What lovely timing. I was just talking about the footage you got for me. You're the first actress I've ever had that's actually made me enough content to finish a film. Clara, would you mind giving Miss Doll the key? Yes, ma'am. Here, the key to the front door. Oh. Wait. Wait, that's it? Wait. That's it? You're just giving it to me? Of course! Now that filming's all wrapped up, I don't need the key to keep the door locked. Really, you've been such an asset during filming. The terror in your face in some of the shots is too perfect. Terribly sorry about all the fuss and secrecy. I thought perhaps the illusion of real peril would make the, form, the film more interesting. I didn't mean to scare you. What the heck are you talking about? You were never in any danger, my dear. Really? There were bear traps! I'm sure you'll agree that the end result is worth the fright I gave you once you see the final reel. You're joking. It was all planned. You really got me, I must say. I didn't have a clue. It was honestly surprising how easy it was to keep you on script even without your knowledge. Yes, well, I'm sure it was very difficult to write such a flexible script. You have no idea. Most girls went so off script I could barely use any of the footage I got. And some liked to hide for hours on end, meaning I didn't even get footage at all. So you must understand, it's no under understatement when I say I'm impressed. 
I'm honored. Not to be rude, but when am I getting paid exactly? Ah, yes, your payment. <laughs> well, you see, I still need to go by the bank and get the money together, so I'll have to mail it to you sometime this week and possibly deal with the mob. I can take a check. Such a shame, I lost my checkbook. I'm so sorry, Miss Dell. I'll get in contact with you as soon as I can get you, get you your payment. Promise. I'll take your word for it. Well, it's been lovely chatting, but I do think it's time you left, Miss Dow. I have a lot of work to do, and I'm sure you have better places to be. All right, then. I'll be in touch. Good night, Miss Dow. Mm. What are you doing, Patty? What are you doing back here? I barely got started getting the trap set. Apparently, I was never in danger to begin with, and this was all just a perfectly scripted series of events. I played along and pretended I believed the bullcrap she told me, and she let me go. I guess she decided I wasn't a threat. She just gave you the key and that was that? Pretty much. Well, that was easy. We're still burning this joint to the ground. Uh, let's save that until after my paycheck comes in the mail. Guess that means I don't gotta redecorate anymore. I still think it's a trap! It's a trap! Let's get a move on before the director changes the mind or something. The front door is locked. The front door is trapped. The front door is bugged. It's trapped. What the? Why is it so dark? Patricia! <coughs> Patricia! Thighs! Where am I? Patricia! Maybe I'm back in the basement. It's too dark to tell. My head is killing me. Oh, I see you're awake. Honestly, I was expecting better from you. Coming so far just to fall for such a simple trick. You really thought I was going to let you go? But on the bright side, you're much more useful to me alive than dead. What are you talking about? What do you want with me? It's simple, really. Just something I wanted to do to satisfy a curiosity of mine. You see, the issue with my creatures is how they decay so quickly, no matter how fresh the body is. So I thought, what if I could use a still-living person as a basis? Though the issue is that people having minds and free will makes such an endeavor difficult. So I thought, perhaps if the subject was in a vegetative state, then I could do what I wanted. I mean, they're practically dead already, so I'm sure my methods would work fine. I was actually waiting for you to wake up first specifically so I could perform the procedure. I have to do this right, you know. I mean, I'm no doctor, but how hard can it be? Ma'am? Now be a dear and hold still for me. It'll only hurt for a second, then you won't feel a thing. Ma'am! Oh no! I became the dead. <laughs> well, we can't have that. All my cool friends who listened to me ramble on about my game and were willing to play test it. <laughs> oh no, we can't end it there. We cannot have lovely Patricia getting all old, old, whatevered up. Ending five. I'm not falling for that. Precisely, my dear. Every encounter, every fright, all part of the script. Now just let me- How stupid do you think I am? Now now, put the broken bottle down. <laughs> no need to escalate this. I'll turn you into a ghost, lady! I'll turn you into a g-g-g-ghost! You already escalated this when you killed innocent people and tried to murder me. It it's not my fault. Most of the deaths were accidents. You see, undead abominations aren't... Give me one good reason not to gut you right here and now. Well, for starters, blood is incredibly difficult to get out of the carpet. <laughs> that line alone makes her the best character ever. <laughs> and secondly, I believe I can still be of some use to you. <laughs> if you'll listen to reason... 
I still haven't given you a payment we'd agreed upon. My payment? Yes, you upheld your end of the bargain, so I am fully willing to uphold mine. I have more than enough footage for an entire film now, with your help, of course. Of course, it'll take some editing magic to make it more coherent, and oh, so much will have to be left on the cutting room floor. But that's art for you. I don't know. Of course, I understand that silence isn't cheap, so there's more where this came from, as long as you don't tell anyone. Let's go with the, the, the worst choice. Alright. I knew you'd listen to reason. You really frightened me there. Right. Sorry, I guess. I'll just be taking my leave now. Ta-ta! I'll get in touch with you soon. Yeah, this probably won't end well either. Patty, you made it out! What's with the look? You killed the director while you were down there? Because, uh, it don't look like she followed you. Patty? Patty, where are you going? Come on, Patty, say something. You're not mad at me, are you? Patty? Oh, The dip ending. I'm sorry, Ida. I just... What happened down there? The director told me she'd keep paying me, as long as I keep quiet about, well, everything. You're selling me out? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess that's what that means. I wish I didn't have to, but you're seriously gonna let that broad walk free just because she promised to keep paying your bills? What about all the dames that died here? You just gonna turn your back on all of us? What do you expect me to do? Just refuse a steady in source of income? And for what? Uh, for justice? To prevent anyone else from dying to this maniac? To free everyone trapped here? And then what? What happens to me? You think I'm willing to just throw away my whole life for something like that? Making a few ghosts happy and stopping some freak from making stuff films isn't gonna keep my lights on. How do you? After all we've done for you! After all I... After all I've done for you. Yes, do you want me to just throw away all that you did to keep me alive? I helped you because you promised to help me. You said we were gonna help. Either put the director in a jailhouse or a gosh darn coffin. I said what I had to so you'd help me. I didn't have any other options. I didn't actually plan on... Uh, uh, I mean, so you admit it, huh? You lied to my face. Oh, the betrayal ending. Oh, the pain. Anything else you want to own up to since we're on subject? Did you ever even care? Wait, don't bother answering. I already know. Ida, I didn't... Oh, you didn't mean it? Sure, lie to me some more. That'll fix everything. Man, why did I even... What I even see in you? I should have never helped you. You. Shallow, selfish, backstabbing, floozy. Ida, calm down. I... Ha, huh? don't you dare tell me to calm down. You pick a little envelope of cash over the lives of innocent girls. Joanna was right about you. Ida, don't waste your breath. What's the matter to you anyhow? Why bother caring what I think of you? Never gonna see my mug again as soon as you step out that door anyway, so why bother? Just take your stupid blood money and go. Kiss your blood money. Can't stand looking at you anymore. All right. Hmm. Oh well. Bye. Leave? Hmm. I do have my nice coat. Can I? Can I do anything else? I should just go. Yeah. Yeah. I guess maybe I should. Oh well. <sighs> still think this is a trap, too. Oh. Oh, I'm in my house. Nothing to eat. Guess I have to go shopping tomorrow. Wash your hands, lady. I really don't feel like cooking anything. Oop. B. 
beer time. I think I'll pass out on wine to pass on the wine for tonight. Patricia tries to find something to listen to, but there's nothing good on the radio at this time of night. I think I'll pass on the wine for tonight. Still full of ash from last time. I look like a wreck. I can't sleep in this getup. I guess I should go ahead and get ready for bed. Aww. I prefer not to get mascara and blush all over my pillowcases. Yeah, take a bath. Last time I looked in a bathroom mirror too long, I almost died. I think I'll just use my vanity. Oh, okay. Is it not yet time to wash your hands? Can't wait to get this makeup off. Can't believe there's still any left after everything that's happened. I guess that's a good thing. At least I'll look nice in the footage she got of me. I just want to pull all, put all that behind me. Oh dear. I'm home now. Oh no! No more ghosts or monsters or secret rooms. It's over. <gasps> oh. It was just my imagination, I guess. It must be the stress. I just need some sleep. I'll feel better in the morning. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Patricia! Patricia! Ooh. Aw. Broken promises. Oh no. Are you bribing me? I have I made a promise to a pretty ghost. To several pretty ghosts. How dare you, madam? How dare you? You really think I'm gonna take a bribe after all you put me through? Ugh. I was hoping you'd be more cooperative, Miss Doll, but my patience is running thin, so I'll be frank. We both know that you need the money. It's not like you had a plan for when acting fails through, did you? Hollywood isn't exactly fond of headstrong starlets, and you'd been dancing on thin ice up until recently. They've been waiting for you to slip up. Now you're swimming in the cold without anyone to help, unless you let you let me help you. So it's your choice. Let yourself drown, or let me help you so we both benefit. No! I made a promise to my pretty ghost friend. I think I'll be fine just without your... I think I'll be just fine without your blood money. Goodbye. D -d don't turn your back on her. Sorry to say, Miss Doll. But I can't let you leave until I know you won't go saying anything. Loose lips sink ships, you know. Move. Now. I got a bottle. <laughs> oh, yes, she will. We both know you don't, you don't have the nerve to use that thing. Lady, have you seen the stuff I've been through? Wanna bet? I see. I'd hope we could have reached some sort of agreement. Such a shame. Oh no! Suppose I'll have to cut you out of the picture. Did we get her? Ugh. Did we get her? Now look what you've done. Oh dear. You broke my favorite pair of sunglasses. What the heck? You know, this would have been a lot easier if you'd just taken the money. Why aren't you? How are you? She's Kara! Oh dear. I'd start running if I were you. I'm already on the shift button. Help, help, help. <laughs> Hot darn. Oh. 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 
We're gonna be here a while, folks. Very merciful to put that try again button there. Oh. All right. Extremely merciful to continue where I was just was. Help! Help! <laughs> Patty, you're back! And just in time! How'd it go with Miss B? Considering she's on the other side of this door trying to break it down so she can cut me to ribbons? Er, right. Dumb question. Could you go get something to hold the door with? I'm gonna try and lock it again. That should buy us some time. Yes, ma'am! Alright. We should have plenty of time. Let's go finish setting up. Owen, watch your step. <laughs> Love what you've done with the place. Thanks, I do my best. The bear traps are hot and highly flammable celluloid film strips really bring the room together. All we need now is a match. Patty, if you'll do the honor, my pleasure. Oof. Oh boy. Man, didn't think it'd go up and smoke that quick. Then again, the house is pretty old. Maybe she made it flammable on purpose. You know, in case she needed to skip town and get rid of all the evidence in one go. You really think Miss V had the foresight to think of something like that? It's just a guess. Which you think got her first? Bear trap or the fire? Hmm. Bear trap. Really? Think so? I just have little faith in her observational skills, is all. You have a different hypothesis? I don't think she ever got past the door, to be honest. She ain't exactly a bodybuilder. Guess this is it, huh? Everybody else is probably headed on to the other side. Oh. Guess this is it, huh? Everybody else is probably headed on over to the other side, and the director can't hurt anyone anymore. I suppose you're right. We did everything we'd set out to do. All that's left to do is for me to go home, and you to pass on. <laughs> yeah. It's been fun. That's one way to put it. I'll be seeing ya, partner. So long, partner. Ada, I... <sighs> Best ending. Well, probably would be better if I helped those other ghosts, but... That was Ms. Director. Uh, it's on Steam. I'll have a link in the description. That was a lot of fun. This is, um, as far as I know, mostly made by one person. An indie game. A very well-made indie game. <laughs> oh, and that was quite the journey. Ending 2. So long, partner. Well, feel free to try it yourself. Uh, it's very low price on Steam. I don't remember how much it is right now. But uh, it's a lot of fun and there's tons of secrets that I missed that I probably can't find. Uh, it is a little difficult in places, but don't give up. Keep trying. If I can do it, so can you. But anyway, have a good night. Take care of yourself and try to leave the world a little better than you found it. Ugh. <laughs>